Well, some of you have probably heard of these, but what to know about COVID variants, variants BA 4.6, BF 7, and BA 2.75, now growing nationwide. I'm sure you're still just hearing about BF, uh, BA 5 and 4. Probably haven't even heard of most of these others, have you? The BA 5 variant that dominated the summer wave of COVID-19 infections and hospitalizations has now fallen to 81.3% of new cases, according to estimates released Friday by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Now that was last Friday, September 30th. Uh, three rival strains, the BF7, BA2.75, and BA4.6 variants, have now climbed to make up one in five new infections nationwide, according to federal estimates. The growth of the new variants comes at a time when reported COVID ca cases and hospitalizations have largely slowed nationwide. Data published by the CDC on Thursday tallied just 2% of Americans living in countries rated at a high uh, COVID-19 community levels, where the agency urges indoor masking and other measures to curb the virus. They're still on that. Can't get away from that. Uh, but health officials have cautioned f for weeks that the U.S. was not out of the woods yet. Science and health authorities have been bracing for a widely expected resurgence of the virus. Uh, the last two winter seasons saw deadly waves of sweep the country. Despite President Biden declaring this month that the pandemic had ended, authorities have urged Americans to seek out updated boosters redesigned to guard against the BA4 and 5 variants. But there is something that the BF7 uh, and the BA4.6 it doesn't really uh, help with, but uh, yeah, that's another thing. Around 7.6 million Americans have received the updated shots, or close to 4% of the 209 million people who are eligible for the booster. The pace of new shots in arms has accelerated to the fastest pace in month. Months CDC data shows, but remains a lot behind last year's rollout of boosters. That's simply because I don't think they've put out a new booster, so I could see why it declined. And then, man, they're they're really trying to make this sound good, aren't they? Of course, it is CBS News. Uh, one potential candidate for a fall and winter wave, now being tracked by virus experts, is BA 2.75.2. Early lab data from Europe and China suggests the variant harbors mutations that add up to the most extreme antibody escape that any than any variant we've seen so far. Again, every variant is the worst ever, it seems. And they're having trouble now because there are so many, they're, they don't know which one to to hype up as much. So now, now they're just kind of doing a blanket thing like this article. Now with the combination of the evolution of variants, as well as the seasonal aspects that we get into this coming late fall and winter, it's likely we'll see another variant emerge. Fauci, the president's ongoing chief medical advisor, said last week in an event hosted by, by the Center for Strategic and International Studies. At least 188 cases of the subvariant have been detected in the U.S. to date across 26 states. There's already on the horizon one that looks suspicious that it might start to evolve into another variant, and that's the BA2.75.2, said Fauci. The CDC has yet to publish a specific estimate for the strain since it remains low, but below 1% nationwide, but has been gradually increasing over the last few weeks. The variant's umbrella lineage, BA2.75, has grown to 1.4% of cases nationwide. BA2.75's prevalence is highest right now in the New York and New Jersey region where the CDC estimates it makes up to 2.4% of new infections. If you live there, better be careful. <clears throat> better run out and grab your mask right now. Uh, the CDC airport surveillance has also detected the variant in flights from India as of August. That, that just kind of is weird. No, it's like surveillance is... Like, I, I just see a surveillance camera going, oh, that person has 
COVID. Oh, that person has COVID. And I know that's not right, but uh, that's just what pops in my mind when I read that one. BA4.6 and BF7. Other two variants have raised concerns because they might evade the protection offered by a key antibody drug used to shield immunocompromised Americans who might not get the immunity from vaccination known as Evushield. I don't know. Evushield? Uh, BF7 has one additional genetic change in the gene code for the spike protein in comparison to potential uh, to parental BA5 lineage viruses. Data indicates that the specific genetic change could reduce the efficiency of Evushield, the CDC spokesman said. <clears throat> Reed said that so far there's no indication that variants or diagnostic tests are affected by BF7's mutation. The CDC says 3.4% of cases, uh, cases nationwide are now from BF7, 128 are from uh, BA4.6. Uh, if you BF7 is apparently largest in New England, where it's 5.7% of new cases and linked to the variant. No. The CDC has also detected the variant in passengers flying from France. Again, that, that image of the camera going, oh, this person has to go, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, just the human language. After past variants threatened the protection offered by AstraZeneca's drug, uh, the Food and Drug Administration moved to boost the dose of Evushield to fend off the strains. It's unclear if the FDA will make a similar move this fall in response to the new strains. The FDA is working with sponsors of all currently authorized therapeutics to assess the activity against any global SARS-CoV-2 variants of interest and is committed to communicating with the public as we learn more. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. A spokesman for the FDA said in a statement. You know, one thing I've seen quite a bit, and uh, yeah, that was it. I've seen a lot of videos where they will talk about uh, drugs to use if you have COVID. And one thing that does pop up quite often, especially in other areas, are steroids. But yet, we can't do that here in the U.S. It's got to be a new drug. And that's because they're in bed with the big pharmaceutical companies who are getting all this money. And you can tell me that Democrats and the left are not for big companies, but man, they are in bed with the pharmaceutical company with all this type stuff. But let me know, what, what do you think about these new variants? Have you heard of them? Not heard of them? They're trying to hype it up to do things? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, get notified for new videos on YouTube. Come on over to Rumble, like me on over there. And I'll see you next video.